In this video, we're going to look at all the ways that you can communicate with your students inside of Google Classroom. This includes making announcements, tagging announcements in comments, directing assignments at specific students. We're also going to discuss which ways are private communication methods between you and students versus classroom-wide communication. From the Google Classroom, I'm on the Stream tab. The first way to communicate with your students is to send an announcement. At the top of your stream is a tile that says announce something to your class. If you click on that, you can submit an announcement that will show up on all of your students' stream. In this case, I'm just going to say, welcome back. Now, from here, I can select specific classrooms that I want to send this to, or I can select students to send it to. You can't do both. So if you decide to send it to all of your classes, you're not able to send it to specific students. However, if you send it to specific students, you're not able to send it to all of your classes. So in this case, I'm going to send this message to all of the students in this class, and then I'm going to click post. This will show up on all the students that are in the class that I selected. The comments in this post, I can mention a student by typing the at symbol and then starting to type their email address or their name. In this case, I'm going to pick one of the students and then add a message for that specific student. Now, when I submit this comment, this comment is added to this classroom wide post, which means that everybody is going to be able to see this comment, not just the student that I targeted. I can, however, send a comment specifically to one person. So here I'm creating a comment and I'm going to send it to a specific student. When I click post, you'll see that this announcement has been directed to a single student. That means that this post will only show up in that student stream. Any comments that you add will only be seen by that student. Any replies from that student will only be seen by you and that student. This is a somewhat private way to communicate so other students will not see what you guys are discussing here. So to contrast that with my previous post, this is a classroom wide announcement and everybody can see all of the comments with that because I directed this announcement at this specific student, only that student will see what is typed here. Next, we're going to hop over to the classwork tab. So from here, if you've created assignments before, you know that it's very similar to the way we created an announcement. If you click create and then create an assignment on the right hand side, just like we saw before, you can direct this at multiple classrooms or you can direct this at multiple students. If you make an assignment and you direct it only at a single student, this assignment will only go to that student. This is a great way for you to differentiate assignments for your students. If somebody has an IEP or if you just want to scaffold an assignment for somebody, you can assign something to everybody in the classroom and then assign something slightly different to a specific set of students. Now, after you've created an assignment, um, there are a couple ways you can communicate regarding the assignment with your students. So for example, I have this assignment that I added yesterday, if I click view assignment and then I click on the instructions tab at the top, I'll see that there are some classified comments. Any comments that I type here will be seen by everybody. I can mention somebody in a comment and when I do that, everybody in the classroom is going to see this comment. You can see here it says class comment. This indicates to you that this is visible to everybody in the classroom when they see this assignment. If I want to communicate privately with a student, I can click on the student work tab and then click on their assignment. This will open up the document that they're working on. And then on the right hand side, I have a section for private comment. Anything added to the private comment section is between you and the student only. Other students in the classroom will not see it. I'm going to return back to my classroom and then go over to the people tab. From the people tab is another way for you to communicate with students if you want to email them. I can find the student that I want to email, find the ellipses menu to the right of their name, and then click email student. That'll allow me to contact them via Gmail. I can also contact all of the students by using this check mark at the top to select them all, and then under actions, email. That'll allow me to email all the students in my class at once. So those are all of the ways for you to communicate either directly with the classroom or individually with the students in your class. At the end of the video, I'm going to give you a playlist of all of my Google Classroom tutorials. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Let me know if I can help.